right guys I'm gonna get straight into this one it's part of the 10 minute makes video series uh, this is great as it's allowing me to use up scraps of fabric from other projects uh, can I complete it in 10 minutes let's find out Take a piece of backing fabric measuring 5.5 by 10.5 inches and place it right side down. Place a piece of wadding on top with the same measurements. I've been sewing for Christmas for a fair few months now so I've been left with scraps of all sorts of wonderful fabrics. Um, place a strip measuring 1 inch by 5.5 inches in the centre on the right hand side. Take two 3 by 3 inch pieces, place them right sides together and sew them using a quarter inch seam. Finger press the seam to one side. Open up the two pieces and place one edge against the edge of that centre piece. Sew together again using a quarter inch seam. Open that up and press it down, sorry, finger press it down. Quilt a few lines, I just did this by eye, I was in a hurry. Uh, if you prefer, you can always measure first. Repeat to add another two squares to the bottom. and then quilt those down again. Place your bigger section right side down on top of the quilted section you just created. Sew that down using the same seam allowance as before. Open up and again quilt this. I decided to quilt lines in the opposite direction for this half. Now, for speed, I decided to pink the edges of this one. 
I turn it over and print from the back so you can see where to cut. Not sure I like the pink edges, but let's add a line of stitching around the entire map, so close to the edge. Okay, so I did it in just over seven minutes, which begs the question, could I have added actual binding instead, which I think looks loads better? Answer, no. Adding the binding takes about 15 minutes, so this would have been a fail. Anyway, it's done. You have a lovely little quilt and mat for a hot chocolate and a snack, my go-to drink this time of year. These are great for lots of seasons though, just choose appropriate fabrics for the season. What do you think, pinked or bound, and what should I attempt next? Thanks for watching.